With 6.58 left and his team nursing a two-point lead, Warriors guard Stephen Curry checked back in Wednesday night, nearly a full minute before his usual return midway through the fourth quarter. Golden State head coach Steve Kerr knew this game could have playoff implications, and the Warriors needed Curry on the floor. But after outdueling Portland guard Damian Lillard much of the night, Curry looked uncharacteristically human when it mattered most, missing crucial shots late as Golden State lost 108-106 to the Blazers at Moda Center. With the Warriors up 3-101 left, Curry clanged a tip shot off a missed three-point try from Kent Bazemore. After Andrew Wiggins corralled the offensive rebound and found Curry at the top of the arc, he missed a three-point try of his own. Little more than 30 seconds later, with his team down one, Curry drove into the key and clanged a floater off back iron. With a chance to take the lead on a three-pointer in the waning moments, Curry, blanketed, found a wide-open Draymond Green. But just as Green seemed poised to race in for an easy layup, Lillard got his feet set and took the charge. After watching teammate Damian Lee's 37-foot heave at the buzzer fall well short of the rim, Curry grabbed his shorts and shook his head. This one hurt. Everything that could have not gone our way did, Curry said. There's been other games where I could really say, we didn't legit execute. Those are learning lessons. We can't dwell on it, but we do have to be real with ourselves that we've tricked off some games. That's not a good feeling. In a game that had been billed as a matchup between the league's two best point guards, Curry was outdone by his rival down the stretch. Lillard scored 11 of his 22 points over the final 206 to ensure that the Trail Blazers won the season series over Golden State. That could matter come playoff time. In a crowded Western Conference, 5th place Portland now sits two games ahead of the 9th place Warriors. A tiebreaker between the two teams, if it comes to that, would go to the Trail Blazers. But at the moment, the Warriors are more concerned with navigating a six-game stretch against five of the West's best teams. That gauntlet opened with a thud as Golden State was routed by the Lakers at Staples Center on Sunday. After a day off and a practice, the Warriors opened Wednesday with a 15-2 lead over the Trail Blazers, only for their supporting cast to falter. It hardly helped that Kelly Oubre Jr., the team's most consistent player in recent weeks, had been ruled out with a sprained left wrist. With Oubre watching from the bench in street clothes, Curry finished with 35 points. No other Golden State player recorded more than 14. With uneven production, the Warriors became predictable in the game's critical stages. The Trail Blazers sent waves of double teams at Curry, 